Hi guys, Diecast Empress here, back for another quick cars review. Now today we're going to be having a look at a brand new car from the Cars on the Road series. We're going to be looking at the one and only Nile Speed Cone. Now I was lucky enough to have this guy picked up for me by my absolutely better half. Uh, my wife picked me up this guy from a Smith's here in England earlier today while I was at work uh, because she lovingly popped in for me, which was just wonderful. So I am very, very grateful for that. Now, as I as just said, I am in England. So this guy here is on international packaging. So we only see him on the back and he does look awesome as you can see in the artwork here obviously being cars on the road has all of the normal on the road logos as well as on the back here and the card art on the front here that cocky look that he's got is just awesome so i think without further ado we should crack this guy open and see what all the fuss is about So here we have Nile Speed Cone out of the box, looking awesome, looking unbelievably quick. This guy looks like he's about to break some records and that cocky expression really, really translates well over onto the, the actual Mattel car here. He does have some auxiliary sponsors on the side, which I'm going to see if we can get a focus on, but don't know if we will. We've got, hang on, we've got intake, we've got uh, MON13. 7BS and something I can't read, but he's also got the numbers 523 on the side as well. Are we going to focus anymore? Can I play this game? There we go. 523 on the side, then that intake, some nice vent work, and then there. Beautiful looking car. This guy looks absolutely incredible. And like I said, he looks like he is going to be absolutely rapid. He's got the nice little parachute on the back that a lot of the Salt Flats racers do. And it is very clear as well with Mattel sometimes when they do have a very favourite episode. So obviously we've got loads of cars from the Dino Park episode. And then we've got loads here from the Salt Flats as well. But yeah, I think this guy looks awesome. And I love that we're starting to get some completely different car shapes compared to what we're used to, you know, your very standard McQueen's and things like that, and as well as like the next gens. So it's lovely to see we're starting to get some completely different cars. This guy is quite small. He's very light. Um, he's very thin, obviously, as you can see, but I think he is still absolutely worth it. The details on him are beautiful. That yellow pinstriping does look amazing as well. And yeah, I think this guy looks great. So I think what we should do is get a nice little group shot of all of the salt flat cars so far. So we've also got like Royce Revsley and Revo Koss. Um, let's get these guys out here. Um, here we go. Oh my days, we're going to run out of space. We've got Nori Yuki and stuff over here. Come on, can we get you all squeezed in? Oh, you're too small, bless you. There we go, you little glasses wearing loser. Uh, obviously got Speed Demon hanging out in the back, looking gorgeous with her beautiful purple eyes. We have, I'm running out of room, my blue repaint. There, oh God, we're falling over of Peggy Liner. Come on, you prick. Oh, we're making a mess. Of course, we have Peggy herself, who is now probably going to play. Oh, no, Peggy balances. And we have my repaint that I did of Peggy as uh, Peter Perfect's Turbo Terrific that can hang out in the side over here. Oh, come on, please. Please just balance for me. And then, obviously, we got the big boy himself, big old Mater, hanging out in the background there as well. Super Speed Mater. I think this is an awesome little lineup, as you can see here. Now, guys, I think, as always, I've waffled on far too much, so I will leave you all with that one, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.